It's concerning. Political pushback as unrelenting as the president's tweets bashing Baltimore and U.S. Representative Elijah Cummings. Many view the tweets as a racist attack. Governor Hogan vented on WBAL Radio's C4 program. I mean, the comments are just outrageous and inappropriate. Enough is enough. I mean, people are just completely fed up with this kind of nonsense. And, and uh, why are we not focused on solving the problems and getting to work? I mean, quite frankly, what is the president doing? What is the Congress doing? Thank you, Elroy. Activist Al Sharpton and former Lieutenant Governor Michael Steele in town for a previously scheduled event at the new Shiloh Baptist Church. They're taking aim at the president's behavior and calling him a con man. But he has a particular venom for blacks and people of color. And I'm going to keep making trouble for bigots. As far as me being a con man, if he really thought I was a con man, he'd be nominating me for his cabinet. The president learned about Congressman Cummings' district from a clip on Fox and Friends over the weekend. Kim Klasick also tweeted how deplorable the conditions are. She is a member of the Baltimore County Republican Central Committee. She did not return our calls. Hello, everybody. Former Maryland Lieutenant Governor Michael Steele invited the president to take a look at the 7th District for himself. The streets are ready for you. The neighborhoods are ready for you. Folks want to talk to you. So just show up. Put the tweet down, brother, and show up. Coincidentally, the president's son-in-law, Jared Kushner, owns apartment complexes in Baltimore County that have been cited for hundreds of code violations. Mice infected some of those properties. Here in Baltimore County, we had to threaten both significant fines as well as the withholding of federal payments um, to ensure there was compliance in, in um, having apartments be livable. And so there's a certain irony in having the president uh, attacking a city and a region um, when his own son-in-law was directly involved and his companies were directly involved in creating the conditions where um, that quality of life was threatened. As far as addressing problems, the governor says he's setting up a meeting with the mayor and police commissioner to discuss the city's new crime fighting plan. He's also calling for more help from the Trump administration. Reporting live from West Baltimore, David Collins, WBAL TV 11 News.